So the Forest State has 9.8 yards per per, per play. That's, that's dominant. <laughs> that's insane. 24 first down, six and nine on third. 60 only 60 plays. So you know, yeah. uh, you know, you look at the way that they control the game on the ground, which you know you're not gonna have a high input of, of plays, but only three penalties for 41 yards. So another great game in terms of not shooting themselves in the foot. Got, got, got to like what they did, you know, dominating a, 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 a UMass team, which, while I hope he feels the pain after what, what he did at FSU with uh, Sam Howell. But you know, here, here's a comment, you know, ladder, Florida State would have beat the team, would have had penalties and little separation. Um, I, I you could even say earlier this year that probably been the case. You agree yep. with that, Steve? Absolutely. Uh, it's hard to argue against that. You know, we've because we've seen it. We've seen us play teams as trash as UMass mm-hmm. and not play well. You know, um, and it's just that's Thanks, that's who we've been. That, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know, but you know, you're mentioning the plays. You know how many? Oh, Vontez. You, Hold on. You know see. how Von- many? Clearly, Vontez is not a for a Florida State fan. He he might be. A, is he a fan of that trash program, Miami? Maybe. Um, yeah, you know, probably. Yeah, probably. probably. Um, but you know, North Carolina. We only had fifty-two plays on offense against North Carolina. Fifty-two. That's it. So mm-hmm. that's that's really what our offense is. We're not going to be a team that puts up 80, 90 um, plays. We're going to be. High 50s, low 60s, mm-hmm. you know, maybe high 60s, which is on the low end. That's just that's that's when we're our best is when we're doing that, you know. So we're not going to be running up mm-hmm. tempo, you know. Hurry up. That's just not not what we do. And, and I'm perfectly fine with that. Yep. Uh, Same mind. So you know, Nerv- 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 yeah, Nervell said. Yeah, Norvell says after the game, he's really proud of our guys this week. It was a good week of work. Went out there and played a pretty clean game. Clean game, and I, I agree with that. And you look at, you know, P- Purdy. You know, again, you know, having the caveat of the opponent. I thought Chumba looked pretty good. I thought he made mm-hmm. the offense. Um, got the ball out really quickly. Um, yep. Placement was great. Um, had had a, a nice command of the offense. Absolutely. Yeah, um, it was a lot of progress shown in how Purdy played today, even against a trash opponent. Yeah, but you can still look at certain things and how what he what he showed last year. You know, there's a lot of progress there, and it's enough to say there's a chance between Travis and Purdy and how they've been playing here lately that hopefully Duffy can redshirt next year, and that's ideally what you want. You don't want to play a true freshman you know, out of necessity. If the true freshman is that good, yeah, absolutely, play them. Mm-hmm. But, you know, uh, this gives me hope that the only way Duffy will play next year is if he is that elite and that good into where if he plays, he's going to dominate and be have like a Sam Howell type uh, freshman season. Because mm-hmm. um, if he's not on that level, I think Purdy and Travis will be good enough to be able to hold him off and start and let him redshirt to where he can grow and get better. Which is what you want to see. You don't want two freshmen playing unless they're even. correct. Yeah. Correct, and uh, um, I think you and I have both been really high on AJ Duffy. I oh, um, love him way before he committed. Yeah, um, I think he's a great fit for this offense. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, he's probably in real early. I think you have three guys yeah. that are going to compete for the job. Um, yeah. you know, I mean, you know, I, 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 I. I Going to be a uh, the fan to say that the, the future is brighter back, but I think that you know what last few weeks and what FSU is bringing in you have to feel even if you look at uh 2023 and Chris Parson, you know, a guy mm-hmm. who's having a phenomenal season, 